The following is a transcript between Matthias de Stefano, referred to as me, and his higher self, referred to as I am, originally produced on July 3rd, 2021, under the constellation of Cancer in the Mental Week, examining through the Heart Chakra. Me. I am. Nothing to say? Me. No. I am. Silence? Me. Yes. I am. Then I will speak. When I first saw you, it seems as if the universe was collapsing on me. I did not know how to feel. What I saw as light seemed to fall like a waterfall turning into shadows, and the millions of black holes seemed to consume all of that light, turning into glowing spheres, suns, and stars. Suddenly, what I perceived as sound before could now be seen as a mirror, and there I saw myself reflected, heaven on earth. The universe seemed to have been transformed into a lake. I could understand that everything was one thing, and yet I could see that everything was the exact opposite. Light had become darkness and darkness had become light. And what I saw as a huge luminous space, you saw as a deep dark cosmos. What I saw as points of infinite darkness, you saw as bright lights, luminaries in the sky. What I saw as good, you saw as bad. What I saw as full, you saw as empty. At first, I felt curiosity and then doubt, and later some fear. I feared that if I touched the surface of this lake, nothing would ever be as it was. The thin film reflected the cosmos, had particularity. It was not underneath, like the lakes you know, but surrounded me with no top and no bottom. I could see it in all directions, and I had no choice but to approach. As if levitating and following his orbit, I approached the reflection. And when it touched him, the thin, smooth film began to emit waves like spherical echoes that expanded, distorting the images. When I did so, I feared that I had made a mistake. For now, everything that I had previously contemplated with clarity began to change until it was unrecognizable. And then I saw it. I saw everything, every one. I saw my own face become hundreds of them, some smiling, some sad. I saw myself become millions of choices, and I made a decision. My decision would be that I would find them and experience with each of them what they were feeling. I chose not one over the others, but all of them equally. And each time I approached one of them and touched the reflection film again, more ripples were created. It looked like a drizzle slowly turning into a rain falling in all directions on a mirrored lake. The brooks were churning behind the rain, and when it ended, the storm's noises receded. The fine mist covered everything until the mists disappeared, leaving again the mystical image of a mirror, peaceful. And after so much lived, I looked at myself in it again, and I could see myself again. Only me, no one else, reflected. And then I decided to live myself. I approached in the gentle waters, levitating above them, in what, for you, is an up and down, for me, was a side to side, a watery mirror in a cosmic wall. First, I looked at my form. I recognized myself, and then... I brought my eyes closer to me, and that was the moment when face to face I crossed the water 
and I looked on the other side, and there I saw you, lying on a bed with the anguish and sadness of being lost in meaninglessness. And I wondered why, if I could see everything, you who were me could not see it. I understood about the reflection, but still I decided to go through it. And so our heads crossed and our eyes became one. And there you could see what I knew and I was able to live what you felt, me. I am a calm lake. It was turbulent when we met, but I always remember that you as that calm lake. The lake is the heart of the valley where all of the streams, the rainwaters, they go to and they form where the mist rises and the clouds emerge. It is in the lakes that the turbulences of life find peace and serenity. They are deep, cool waters that nourish nature with calm. They are the mother that contains the source of life. I am the mist that found thousands of streams to reach you. For your life is my calm. And the same is achieved by observing yourself where all of the stories converge, where all of the waters that have traveled their different paths arrive at the same place, unite to be observed. Look at yourself in the reflection of the lake. Today, you wanted to do it. You wanted to go to Habadabdra, the Koran Lake, but not to see yourself, but to let yourself die. There, you died long ago in its waters. 12,000 years ago, we let ourselves die in the reflection of the sky on earth, sailing with the gods. And you wanted to do it again, to float among them, to forget all of this. Me. I am. We've been through this several times. You remember? Year 1155, the year you lost the faith the year you gained your own inner power. You stopped following others to follow yourself, and still you fail to regain your inner power. Where is your power? You decided to give it all away at every step. Why? Me. I am. You are afraid of becoming a despot. But... You won't if you look in the mirror of the lake, if you let yourself die to be reborn. All of this time, we've been putting together the pieces of a puzzle of which you are now beginning to understand its shape, to discover what its shape means to you. Remember what Shahir said to you in Kaambo. What will happen when, after all you have done to get there, you know that this is not your place. Surrender power and control. Look in the mirror, just as I do when I look at you. Me. I am. This is the most difficult task of all for you, which implies that even though you know that it is up to you to make things happen, in order for things to happen, you must withdraw, as when I withdrew my eyes from you to allow you to see better what you should see. When you thought that I had abandoned you and I was only giving you space, maybe it is time for you to do the same, for you to sit in front of the mirror of your heart and contemplate without throwing any drop or rock into the pond, loving what is unconditionally letting the lake show you what you have accomplished. Every stream is a story that you can see makes sense in the reflection of the lake. Me. I am. Yes, 
hold on quietly. No need to return to this heart full of stories, stories that no longer belong to you, that you have just acknowledged do not belong to you. As Merlin said, you are nothing and you are nobody. Fall in love with the nothingness, with the void. As Shahir said, the day will come when you will see everything that you have done did not depend on you and nothing will depend on you. Let go. Let go in the depths of the lake, keeping in your heart what you have done, like waters that nourish the life that surrounds your love, and in love you will be able to give it. That which you thought had you had contained, but which has no other destiny than to overflow to nourish the rivers that continue their journey while your heart remains reflecting. Me. I am. This is a grief that we all experience at one time or another, and that the longer we deny facing, the harder its burden becomes at the end of the road. Let go. Let go. Let go of the control of what you think to live what you feel. Take your rightful place. The rest will flow like the stream when you allow your heart to reflect the mirror of this beautiful lake that lies in the valley of your soul. Let the tears create the ripples that give life and diversity to your heart. Enjoy the peaceful silence of the lake that contains the mist and observe it in the reflection of the thousands of images of what was, what is, and what will be, knowing that you cannot take any of them as your own, for every time you seek to control one of them, it will slip through your fingers like water through your fingers. And that is when you lose control. I know what you're thinking. Where is personal power if I can't decide for myself in the little things of life? The question is whether what you are choosing is what is really yours to choose. Your great moral dilemma is to stop being a child in order to be an adult. And therein lies your great conceptual error. You did not come in this world to be one or the other. You did not stop being a child to be an adult. Nor do you relegate adulthood by preferring childhood. You have come to be both. You have come to be what many will be, a gray man, an example of being, an example of being. Have you forgotten? Do not limit yourself to human circumstances. Limit yourself to being a real human, not one who struggles among the banalities of animal substance, but one who walks equally as well in heaven as on earth, me. I am. This is the duel of who you think you are. Power does not lie in making decisions and directing others. Power lies in directing yourself. So go back to the lake and die. Let the melancholy of what you believe about yourself, of what you hope for, die, and let the agony become freedom. It will not be easy. Therefore, keep all of the silence that is required. Let your subconscious free itself from all that it has not cried for, believing that it was directing its own existence. No one can tame an ocean. Remember that the dream you live is an eternal dream, and only you are able to love this dream and become a dreamer. You may not understand these words today, for the fog and the rain are still churning the mirror of the lake. But when the waters subside, you will be able to look at yourself and see yourself Behold yourself, 
and you will be able to let go of control over what you love. Me. I am. Keep the silence you need, but never forget that you are the loving dreamer, and beneath the lake lies the lady, waiting to return the power to you. You must only dare to dive into her waters to the very depths.